Let's look at how to create a hotspot on our light. We'll drag and drop a softbox under here. We'll just uh, scale this up. Okay, and this is uh, a very flat looking light. So what we want to do is, there's the master content, but we'll go across to our value blend and we'll make this active. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is change the content type to gradient and we'll change the type to radial. And then on this value ramp, let's make the middle white by clicking on that and dragging the slider up and then we'll make the edge a bit darker. Now to see the effects, we want to change the blend mode from add to multiply. So then this gradient is multiplying with the values of the master content. If we use origin X and Y, we can now move the position of this hotspot. So let's move it to say the bottom of the light and we can change the extent, how far it goes across the light. So we have quite a nice effect there. To get more control, open up your ramp with the little graph button and we'll turn on log and then we can use the Bezier, and double click and then we can create a nice kind of S curve. Okay, and then we can make the brightness of this brighter and then we can change the extent to see how far across this hotspot goes. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit here. So there we go. So now this light has got a lot more character with this movable hotspot that we've created using value blend with a blend mode multiply and it's a radial gradient and we've controlled that with this ramp and we can just move that where we want now. Okay. Thank you for watching.